tips so today's hello guys welcome to my channel sharing mnemonics and tips so today's video is about the difference between a chisel and an osteotome so in the video a chisel and an osteotome is displayed it looks quite similar right even though it looks similar it is not similar so let's start with chisel so in chisel only one side there will be revealing like you can see in the video i'm also showing you from my hand like it will slide and the other side is always straight only one side is beveled and other side is straight therefore it is known as mono beveled now coming to an osteotome an osteotome is an instrument in which both the sides are beveled both the sides will be slided that means it will not be in 90 degree you can see in the video so it is known as y beveled so I'm holding both chisel and osteotome in my hand. You can see the chisel has straight area, but an osteotome does not have any straight area. On the other side, also while flipping, it has bevelling in osteotome. In chisel, one side has bevelling. One common thing between chisel and an osteotome is that both of them they need mallet in order to function. We will use a mallet in both chisel and an osteotome. Now coming to the function difference between chisel and mallet. So I'll give you an example in case of difficult extraction. Suppose it is not coming out from the forceps or elevator. You can use a chisel on an osteotome. So what a chisel will do? The chisel will remove chips or bone. They are going to remove chips or bone. That is like unlike osteotome, they are not going to split the bone as a whole. But rather they are going to remove the chips or bone. To chip means in a fragment wise they will remove the bone so you can see in the video in a fragment wise we're going to remove bone from each side and then we're going to take out the tooth we can also use chisel uh, to split the bone but they're going to split the bone by cutting by chipping that that is in fragments they are going to split the bone it is not like that they're going to split the bone or tooth as a whole so you can see in the video i'm splitting uh, sorry i'm milleting in the buccal side so they will cut only in the buccal side and not in the lingual side but you can see in the osteotome sliding in my next slide to show you the function of osteotome i'll show you the difference so osteotome is used to split the bone as a whole here we have shown the example of a tooth so when i'm splitting in the buccal side it will split in the lingual side as well unlike chisel if we split in buccal only buccal side will be cut in chisel but in osteotome splitting in the buccal side will cause split in the lingual side as well so it is going to split the bone as a whole or the tooth as a whole whenever we mallet it so you can see here it has split it and we're going to remove the one part so that it is very easy for us to extract during extractions do not use the osteotome in the bone part only in the tooth areas you can use the osteotome to split in the root region as well otherwise the osteotome is going to split the whole mandible so osteotome is mostly used in major surgical procedures like for example lipoid one osteotomy here we're going to split the bone uh, treat four to five mm above the apices of uh, canine to first molar so in this way we're going to split the bone in maxillary osteotomy they are also used in other procedures like recountering of bone in large bony lesions in case of biopsy ankylosis and many more and for uh, chisel mallet you know the biggest example is lingual split technique thank you so much